Hello, and welcome to General Ledger training, how to load a budget using Oracle General Ledger. So as always, I'm starting at the home area in Oracle General Ledger. You can always go home by clicking on the home button. So I'm going to start by going to general accounting and then going into the general accounting dashboard. Once you're here, you click on the um, taskbar to the right. And once you click on that, uh, you'll see at the bottom, it'll say create budgets and spreadsheet. Go So go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that, you'll see in the download area, you will see that Oracle has provided you with an Excel spreadsheet called create budgets. So go ahead and click on that. And it's going to ask you if you want to connect. You say yes. And if you're, if this is your first time connecting, you'll have to log in. If if you've already been connected, you, it'll bring you straight in. So uh, this is the spreadsheet. It's it's the Create Budget spreadsheet. Now this is connected to the Oracle General Ledger. So what you want to do is make sure that you are in the right um, data access set. So I am. Uh, you can tell by at the top. You put in a run name, so this just needs to be a unique uh, name, so I'm going to call this test at bud. And uh, the next field here, budget name, is important. You need to make sure you pick the right budget year, so I'm going to pick Y 2019. So that's all I need in the header area, and now in the line area you want to pick your ledger, so in this case I'm going to pick my accounting period, I'm going to pick um, something in 19. So let's pick May 19. And then here, when you get to the uh, general ledger chart of accounts string, uh, what you can do here is you can double click. And when you double click, it'll bring you to the um, a window that allows you to choose your account. So click on this little icon here. And now you can go ahead and choose your account. So there's a couple different ways you could choose your accounts. The easy way is just to just click on the drop down and pick your cost center. So if you see it, you can choose it, pick your account, click on it. If it's a longer list, you can go down where it says search. And let's say I want any account that starts with a five. I hit that. And let's say I want employee contributions. Say OK to that. And then to pick my others, same thing. I can also just directly click on it. So that is one way to pick your accounts. So once you do that, it'll it'll fill out your general ledger string. And then you can pick your currency. Um, so you can either you know, pick it or you could just, it, for currency, uh, you're probably better off just typing it in. And then you put in your budget amount, let's say $1. The other thing you can do is this is an Excel spreadsheet. So you can just simply copy and paste the whole row down to the next row. Or more than likely, you have a spreadsheet with your budgets in it. And you can just copy that entire spreadsheet into this uh, into this uh, Oracle formatted spreadsheet. That's probably the easiest way to do it. One thing to keep in mind is if you need which you will, you'll need more rows. Um, the best thing to do is to hit uh, review and unprotect sheet. And what you want to do is you want to, you want to make sure you add rows. So they have this kind of grayish color in it. So just go anywhere in the gray area and just add as many rows as you need by just inserting them from the gray area. And that'll add a bunch of rows for you. So you want to make sure that your spreadsheet looks like this uh, before you copy and paste or enter the data into it. So just make sure you have enough rows. I usually add more rows than I need and then I delete them at the end that I'll show you how to do that. So again, you can do that. The other way you could pick accounts is, um, you know, let's say I want to copy this and just to show you another way to pick accounts, you can double click here and then click on the find and the other thing is if I wanted to see all 
uh, general ledger strings with company 10 and call center zero. I can just hit search down here and it'll list me all of the combinations that that meet that criteria. Um, so that's just another way you can do that. Um, let me cancel that. So I have two rows here. Let me go ahead and delete the rest of these. I'm deleting these uh, rows because I don't need them. So I have two rows here and I'm going to load these as my budget. So I'm, I'm loading two dollars. It's a two dollar budget this year. Um, so it's going into May. It's going to this account 5010. Employee contributions. So before I hit the uh, the send button to upload it, I just want to show you the report that we're going to be looking at is it's this row of the report, which right now has nothing in May 19 for that budget. So after I load this budget, this should uh, have the $2 in it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and load this budget. And what you do is just hit create budgets at the top and hit submit. All right, once you do that, you'll get a confirmation. It'll give you a process ID, you can say okay, and then your row status should say row inserted successfully. So that's it. Um, that's all you need to do to load the budgets into Oracle General Ledger. So now when I go back to my Smart View report, which is my income statement, um, I have my uh, budget column here, which is my FY19 budget, the budget that I just loaded those $2 into. And you can see the $2 is now in the account that I put it into. So that's it. Um, that's how you load a budget into Oracle. Thank you very much.